Gracious Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you that you enabled us to gather together in the presence of God to listen to the word of God. Father God, speak to us, O God. Lord, we pray for all, each and every one of those who are sitting here, O God. Speak to us, O God. Help us to be engraced by the word of God, that the hope, that expectation that we have in future, O Lord. Father God, we are submitting everything in the mighty hand of God and speak to us, O God. We thank you for hearing a prayer, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So all of us uh, sit together in the presence of God with a prayerful attitude and uh, uh, we will be, I mean, uh, thinking about and discussing about the rewarding ceremony of believers uh, this morning. So that is the topic that I would uh, like to speak to you, something from, uh, maybe from Revelation chapter 22 verse uh, 12. So when we listen into these verses and uh, into this uh, uh, topic, I will request everyone to uh, prayerfully sit there and also uh, to listen the word of God very carefully and uh, amen. pray to the Lord, oh Lord help me to grasp the, those things and also we have to pray that I mean, you have to be attentive to the word of God and that that's the reason that I told you that, you know, if you are not attentive to the word of God, you will not receive anything. So, we will receive something from the word of God because this is the word of God. I mean, it is not the word of a pastor or, a pa or of, a, of, a, of a believer, but this is the word of God. And we are going to receive that. Amen. So, let us all wait upon the Lord and um, God will speak to this morning and uh, God will encourage every one of us with that uh, word, especially from uh, Revelation chapter 22 verse uh, I mean, 12. Uh, we will read that verse now then uh, uh, we will uh, move on yeah behold i am coming soon bring my recompense with me to repay each one for what he has done praise god here when jesus said that behold i am come coming quickly and my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done I mean, so this is this verse is talking about the rewarding ceremony of a believer, a rewarding ceremony of a believer, and we know that the rewards will be distributed for the ministries of the Lord and also for the believers of the Lord, those who have, I mean, fought a good fight, and the people, those who were believing in Jesus Christ and those who accepted Jesus as their personal savior, and those who are in heaven. So, though for those people, for the ministers and the believers and the righteous people, those who are entering into heaven, those people will be getting a reward from heaven, from God. So there are mainly three kinds of uh, I mean, uh, three, three, three. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, separate verses which talks about the the crowns and the rewards. I mean, which is uh, provided for the for the people of God. Mainly, there are three verses which is there in the screen also. The first one is Matthew chapter twelve, verse thirty six. I mean, so we are going to talk about what is the what is the reward of a believer and what we are going to receive from the Lord in heaven. Okay, after reaching heaven, we are going to receive the reward or the award. But what is that? So we are going to talk about that and listen to that word. You know, in, in first verse, in Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 12, verse 36, it says that, what is that? It's going to be a judgment day for believers. Man, so you read that verse maybe, Matthew 12, 36. I tell you on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. So every careful word that people speak, they shall give an account on the day of judgment. That means the awarding day or the rewarding day, Pradifala Vipachana Divasam in the Parayanada, what will be there? It will be the judgment day for the believers. You may be getting a confusion on that. We will, we will clear it. So we'll be talking about that maybe later. You know, we will receive the reward or the award or the crown, but at the same time, this day of, I mean, this day of rewarding is also known as the judgment day for the believers. Especially, it says that, you know, for every careless word that speak, they shall give an account on the day of judgment. There is a day of judgment. You know, after becoming a believer, whatever you speak, Whatever you do and whatever you are doing, okay, what is your action? So God is looking into that and everything is recorded in heaven. 
you know there is a, there is a, there is a book i mean uh, named as the, the the book of life right so in the book of life everything is recorded there so you will receive your award or reward or crown or something according to that i mean record also everything is recorded there you know i don't know how much is the as the power of this recording uh, camera now huh? how much is that the power of this recording camera this one okay what are maybe so remember you know if if it, you know it is recording only this area no the the this area so remember the 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 recording camera that uh, god has in heaven how much bigger than how much bigger than this because all over the world the believers are doing many things okay the unbelievers are doing many things that also is recorded at the same time they are not going into heaven they will not be in heaven the unbelievers the wicked people they will not be in heaven but we the believers now after receiving jesus as a personal savior after salvation or after baptism whatever we do whatever we speak every word that we will have to give the account in the presence of god and that is known as the day of judgment we will talk about later maybe and second words which is talking about the rewarding of a believer is in revelation chapter uh, uh, sorry first corinthian chapter 3 verses 12 to 15 so in first corinthian chapter 3 verses 12 to 15 it says that it's going to be the testing day of believers work quality and intention behind the work then so the second thing about this reviving day it is clearly written that this is going to be a testing day of a believers work quality so whatever we do there is a quality in that for the kingdom of god the things that we are doing for the kingdom of god after becoming a believer you know god is recording everything and god is recording the quality of that work or action and also god is recording the intention behind it about the intention behind it we will talk about that later so listen so whatever we do there is a judgment day and also there is a day in, it's, it's known as the testing day of a believer's work testing day by fire by fire we are not reading all those portions because of the lack of time and the third thing the third i mean reference which is in 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 in, in revelation chapter 22 verse 12 this is the word the third thing which is talking about the rewarding ceremony that is it's going to be really a rewarding ceremony of a believer the rewarding ceremony of a believer that means three things will happen in one occasion what's that three things are going to happen in one occasion for example you know uh, the judgment will be there the testing will be there and the awarding also will be there the rewarding also will be there okay so three things means you know we are calling our sunday service as a sunday sunday worship service right sunday worship service only the worship service is there many things are happening here right many things are happening here there are prayer or songs and worship and uh, uh, word of god and testimonies are there uh, children's memory verses are there and uh, a prayer and benediction everything are there yeah? there are a lot of things that we are doing here but we are calling it as a sunday worship service sunday worship service the same thing is going to happen in heaven when god is doing that ceremony when god is doing that awarding ceremony or rewarding ceremony so god need to give the award or the reward for the people of god for the believers of god only after the judgment only after the judgment i mean without the judgment there is no award okay so there should be a judgment but in romans chapter 8 verse 1 we read there is no condemnation for those who are in christ now what is the meaning of that there is no condemnation for those who are in christ now if paul christu vesivar ullavarkku oru shiksha vidhiyum illa condemnation is not there punishment is not there but there is a judgment there is a judgment but there is no punishment okay so that is the speciality the difference between the worldly judgment and the godly judgment okay even now also we are having the chastisement right 
we have the chastisement and that also is a sanctification process for the believers now at the same time the people those who are doing many things now and talking many things now after becoming a believer that person's works and the words and the quality of the work and the i mean uh, what is that intention behind the work will be tested by the fire and we will know that how much crowns that we are going to receive from the lord on that day when so we will not have we will not be having any punishment or condemnation but we will have to go through the the judgment that is that that judgment is a rewarding ceremony at the same time our works and our words and everything will be tested by the fire and that will prove what we did on this earth so based on the topic let me ask you a few questions uh, to to give you some of the ideas about the rewarding ceremony you know i mean we we may be thinking about what is the rewarding ceremony or what is the meaning of the rewarding ceremony what i am going to get from heaven if i reach there okay if i reach there we will get that reward okay we will get that reward so we are asking and i am ask, going to ask some questions to you that based on that topic the first question is when is this rewarding ceremony going to happen when is this rewarding ceremony is going to happen when you don't know after judgment that's right <laughs> or during the time of judgment after after second coming yeah then then seven year period that means the the great tribulation period right after the rapture the answer is there let's take it what is that between the rapture and the second phase of appearance of jesus christ what is the, what is the difference between second phase and the first phase the rapture will happen okay the rapture will have rapture means jesus will come in the mid air and the church the the, the 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 christian church the believers the saints of god they will be caught up into air and they will be with jesus okay at the same time the great tribulation is happening on this earth the great tribulation for seven years it will be happening here but at the same time the seven years we all will be with jesus in heaven during those time this is going to happen the awarding ceremony is going to happen in heaven and the second phase means the first phase of the second coming of jesus christ we already studied about that in in revelation the first phase of the second coming of jesus is happening at the mid air at the mid air but second phase the glorious appearance of jesus christ will will be on this year on this year the second appear the second appearance is second phase of the appearance of jesus christ it is written in zechariah chapter 14 verse 4 that on that day his feet will stand on the mount of olive okay that means jesus will come down on to the earth okay so in the first phase jesus is not not coming on the earth but in the mid air but in the second appearance the second glorious appearance that in that appear mahatva pratyachada ennana malayalathe parayna aa samayath endeyum kartava olivu malayil kaluguthu ennu parnal ee bhoomilekku kaluguthum so where it is going to happen where 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 in heaven no in heaven in heaven will go on okay so in between the rapture of uh, the church and also in between the 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 the, uh, the 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 second phase of the second coming of jesus christ that is going to happen in heaven in heaven at the same time next question who will receive this reward who will receive this reward the simple answer is church of god this church of god eternal life church of god the church of god means the bride. the bride of god the saints of god the children of god the believers those who are in heaven those who are in heaven they will receive hmm okay so uh, that is coming later okay so this is only the new testament church will be there this time only the new testament church will be there okay listen so when it is uh, what is the question who will receive this reward your answer is correct but when we read a uh, uh, book of revelation chapters 2 and 3 
we will understand who are receiving this award the overcomers and the faithful people the overcomers and the faithful people right you know when you read uh, revelation chapter 2 chapters 2 and 3 you know, there are messages for the seven churches of asia minor seven churches of asia minor so every church take every church and listen to that messages to the every church god is saying that if you overcome you will receive the crown the crown the crown something else okay so you will receive the award or you will receive the the the, the reward of your work i mean if you are overcoming the world if you are overcoming the the sin if you are overcoming the satanic attack so then only you will be there in heaven we will go to that port i mean portion maybe i mean later so it says that when he who overcomes will receive the reward it is not written the whole church but the individual is receiving the reward you know we cannot say that all oh, the people of our church that means the whole church is going to receive that reward no there is no business like that okay uh, you know somebody is thinking that okay oh, jesus is going to call the eternal church life church of people come from come here i'm going to give you the reward just uh, like uh, joseph was giving the candies to the children no come here i'm giving no no it is not like that Okay, so God is not to call uh, the, the church by church or the, the I mean, what is that, Sangarana uh, Kendwara, the organizations by organization. Okay, the IPC people come here, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a reward. The AG people come here or the, I mean, Sharon people come here. No, no, God is not going to call all the churches names or organization or something. But God is going to call your name and my name individually and give the crown or give the reward again on what basis on what basis god is giving this reward hmm? what basis according to the thoughts words and our work our actions that god is going to give that reward when are you expecting that are you expecting that we will receive that reward in heaven right we are expecting that and we are hoping for that when we are going to receive that reward not from this earth but from heaven from the almighty god hallelujah and what kind of reward it is different crowns different crowns okay and maximum how many crowns can received by one person <clears throat> A single person, how many you will receive? How many you will receive, Justin? You don't know, no idea. <laughs> four? No, one person, how much, how many, how many crowns will be given for one person? The answer is there, okay? It depends. What is the meaning of that? You know, one person may get five five or one person may get four one person may get three or two or one at least one you will get if you are in heaven <laughs> at least one you will get if you are in heaven okay that is the important thing okay if you are there at least one you will get we will study about that more maybe later and the next question is there any crowns mentioned in the old testament is there any crown mentioned in the old testament This is a confusing question because, you know, only the believers are getting the rewards in heaven. Then the Old Testament people, they will come later. Old Testament people also will come there, you know, during the time of the, sec the resurrection of the, of the saints. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm asking, is there anything, anything written about the crown in the Old Testament? Yes, Jacob. Answer is there. Yes, there are some kind of crowns written in Old Testament also. The crown of beauty. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 9 and Isaiah chapter 62 verse 3. 
there is a crown of beauty a gray head is a crown of glory proverbs chapter 16 verse 31 how many gray hairs are here lift your hands lift your hands praise the lord amen so that is the word of god <laughs> okay okay but the speciality is all these crowns you are receiving in the earth itself which one the old testament crowns okay these things the crown of beauty you are receiving from here itself okay not from heaven okay the gray head is a crown of glory that means if you have a gray head i mean you are a glory and you are a blessed person here on this earth okay this is not countable in the heaven you are gray or black or white or something no problem that is not counted in the heaven we are coming to the point we are coming to the point now how many crowns are mentioned in the New Testament? <clears throat> you can say four. Somebody said seven. Right? Any other answer? Jacob, answer go to kill it open. Where? Okay. So, five is right. Okay, five uh, kinds of crowns are mentioned in the New Testament. Okay, so we will be seeing one by one. Uh, I will not be able to finish that message today and if possible, I will be continuing that message next week also. So, before, I mean, going into the one by one study about the crowns in heaven or rewarding a ceremony of heaven i mean before that one more thing that i would like to tell you is that you know some people used to say that pastor somehow we have to be in heaven we don't want any crown or reward or award or something somehow we have to be there in idalle mikkaram peru aagrahikkunne we are we are praying oh lord somehow i want to be there in heaven i don't want any crown i don't want any reward i don't want any award or something oh lord i want to be there in the malarthi parayne kashtiche vallachadi alle vallachadi njangakka avadange ithiya madi endo vallachadi ennolla english endo kashtiche ithiya madi engane engilo okke ningal velli english yaar aayittu nu parnja irike barely barely somehow is correct oh i'm god no, thank you thank you <laughs> okay so so somehow oh, any any barely or you know it is our expectation that i want to be there but my question is is that is that attitude is right or not yeah. see who said that who said that yeah. Yeah. yes nia thank you you know it's not right there are reason for that you know we are thinking Oh, somehow I want to be in heaven. I don't want a crown or reward or award or something. I want to be there, oh Lord. But that is not right attitude. Because when you say that, you are lazy. That means you don't want to do anything on this earth. You got it? You know, for what you are getting the reward in heaven? For what you did on this earth, right? So, if you are not doing anything in this earth for the kingdom of God, or for the glory of God, for the ministry of the Lord, you are not, not getting anything there, but you will get one. I will talk about that later. Okay, so you will get one crown at least. At the same time, you are saying, oh, I am so lazy. There are many people, they are so lazy. They don't want to any, do anything. At least I, I got salvation and I am baptized and it's okay. This is okay. I don't want to do anything. And there is no action. There is no doing or there is nothing that that person is doing. Simply attending in the meeting and going back to house and no talking. Eh? No, no, no. They are so silent. At the same time, how much you are doing for the name of the Lord. How much work you are doing for the kingdom of God. How much ministry that you are doing. And the ministry is not only for the pastor. Every person has a ministry. Every person has a talent. And every person has something to do for the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's the reason I told you that that attitude is not at all right. Men? And also, the lazy people are not appreciated in the Bible. You know that? The lazy people are not 
appreciated in the bible when you can do something for the lord when when you say oh somehow i want to be in heaven i don't want any crown i don't want any reward you are saying that okay man i am a lazy person i don't want to do anything but you have to do something do work for the lord work for the lord whatever it may be in which area itself i mean you can do something for the name of the lord hallelujah amen praise god and what is the concept of the crown what is the concept of the crown in the ancient greek time yes jacob you will get it you know the greek word which is used for crown is stephanos okay stephanos is the greek word which is used for crown and also the meaning of that word is the badge of royalty a prize in the public games or a symbol of honor and usually you know this practice is in ancient greek games that putting a crown of a victor's head as a reward for winning an athletic contest contest okay so 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 when the people are getting reward or when the people are getting the award or when the people are winning in an athletic you know that person is getting a crown on his head when because he is winning okay because he is winning so this is the ancient i mean greek concept of the crown okay but those people are making that crown out of some leaves maybe out of some paper out of some metal or something but we are not going to get any crown from heaven out of leaves or what is that uh, metal or paper or something but we are going to get the glorious crown from heaven Hallelujah. how many of you are expecting for that we are going to get the glorious glorious amen we cannot i mean count the value of that crown but we understand you know personally i do not know what kind of crown it will be it is not clearly written what kind of crown that means what will be the shape or what will be the the decorations or something on that or something i don't know about that but i believe that it is going to be a glorious crown that we are going to receive in heaven hallelujah praise god and usually the people those who are you know about the, the stephanos the word stephanos comes from stephen stephen stephanos okay so stephen in the book of acts we see that when he is the first martyr of christ okay stephen is the first martyr of christ for from that source only this this greek word is coming okay this word, greek word is coming and also this stephanos is used figuratively in the new testament for the rewards of heaven god promises those who are faithfully serving the lord I mean so we are getting we are going to get that crown from the lord not the not made out of any leaves or the materials of this world but we are going to receive that word the glorious i mean crowns from the presence of god and we are going to the first crown which is mentioned in the bible that is in first peter chapter 5 verse 4 first peter chapter 5 verse 4 the crown of glory the crown of glory let's read that verse <coughs> is ready to read first peter chapter 5 verse 4 yeah first peter le ah er vaichu edthar vaichu first peter ah ah hey man what a wonderful words it is right you know you will receive the crown of glory in malayalathil parayil tejasinte vaadath kiridam tejasinte vaadath kiridam who is going to receive that me the shepherd the pastor thank you you know i believe that i will receive that because i'm serving god i'm ministering for the lord i mean who is receiving that this is given to the ministers and the shepherds of the church who faithfully feed the flock of god men so we can see that when this crown the crown of glory is given for the pastors or shepherds or ministers of god who is serving the lord faithfully men so i am expecting that i will get it amen i am expecting that you can also expect something i mean according to your work according to your quality of your work and and the, and the intention behind it men so this is considered as the greatest of all other crowns okay and the chief shepherd will give the crown of glory that does not fade away 
you know when you read first peter chapter 5 verses 2 to 4 you will understand i mean how can a minister or how can a shepherd receive this crown okay first of all i'm talking about the minister of god who is receiving the crown i mean later i will be talking about the people of god what you are going to receive the believers I mean what you are going to receive you can also receive this crown if you are doing something ministry for the lord then you can also receive that in first peter chapter 5 verses 24 we sorry uh, chapter 5 verses 2 to 4 we understand how can a minister or how can a shepherd re receive this crown when when we i mean can you can you read that verses maybe uh, 2 to 4 ah. shepherd of the flock of god which is among you ah. serving as overseers <clears throat> not by compulsion but willingly <clears throat> not for dishonest gain <clears throat> but eagerly so, or as being over those entrusted 